I'll be the last one left when the lights go out. I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now. We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life. So cross my heart and hope to die, baby. I was born to f- Fight the fear when I feel like dying. I'm trying to fly high, but I'm not a pilot. Can't deny it. There's some days I feel idiotic. Just a product of a system where you're lucky just to make The teeth are glued. The faces are washed. The balls are smelling fresh. Welcome to this week's episode of What's the Script? Chris, how are you? <laughs> uh, what you just said there does not include me whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Manky face. Smelly balls. And his teeth are his own. Chris, <laughs> Chris from what's the script? <laughs> oh, oh, good stuff, mate. Right, so although I falsely advertised last week's episode twenty-two, that was a falsity, and it's actually this week it's series two, episode twenty-two. So uh, we usually do twenty-five a series. So we're coming towards the end, and uh, Chris's pick last week, and you chose nineteen eighty-six Oliver Stone classic Platoon, mate. Yeah, superb for them, isn't it? Yeah. One of my favourites. It's in the top ten anyway, so. I'm telling you, man, it's, I think it's my, it's my favourite Nam portrayal anyway, that's for sure. Yeah. Your favourite Nam portrayal? Aye, aye, it's, well, it's, it's in the top ten for me. One mate. of them. Aye, it's, aye, I would say it's my favourite. So up there uh, with hot shots. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, it's definitely up there, mate. Uh, I like uh, We Were Soldiers and all that as well, but this is <clears throat> this is told in like a different light, you know what I mean? See uh, the war in Vietnam and all that. I think it was like the first of the kind that showed you the dark side of stuff what was going on, you know what I mean? A lot of people <laughs> don't know. Um Oliver Stone. He was actually he actually served in Vietnam, and he was the first ever play screenplay to be written by somebody that had been in Vietnam. So a lot of this was through his own experiences and his own horrors that he's seen. And with the way the cinematography goes and the direction of the film, you can totally see somebody's got a, a semblance he knew what was going on. Because obviously American propaganda war machine painted this as like a... But a a bit of a holiday for people and to get there and we'll win it no problem and stuff like that, didn't they? Aye, uh-huh. everybody was listening to fucking uh, Credence Clearwater and all that, you know what I mean? Uh, it, was a, it was a good night out. <laughs> Aye. Little did they know that they were just sending young men across there to be slaughtered. Aye, definitely. There's a, if you get a chance, uh, I would watch it's like a, a docu-series, um, Ken Burns, Vietnam. It's fucking... I've never seen it, but I know what you're talking about. Aye, off. It's it's worse than what we think. Aye. So let us, let us um, fire some names at you, uh, people, in case you've not seen this. And if you're of the kind of same age or a wee bit older than us, you'll appreciate all these names. It's like Willem Dafoe, Charlie Sheen, Tom Berenger, Johnny Depp, when he was but a baby, <laughs> Kevin Dillon, Forrest Whitaker, John C. McGinley, Francesco Quinn, Keith David, and I'll stop there. What a what a lineup! You know what I mean? Aye, superb man. And Tom Berenger and Willem Dafoe and this are just superb. Oh, In fact, I think the two of them actually get nominated for best supporting actor, didn't they? They did. Charlie Sheen was nominated as well. It was nominated for nine Oscars. It won four. Uh, cinematography, director, uh, score which is the soundtrack. I still kind of get used to calling the sound or the title song, the score. Fucking <laughs> Americans only explain that to me. Hey, man, what's the score? <laughs> uh, 2 no, mate. 2 no, and Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> See, with that cast, right? Obviously, I've left it the back end of that cast where there's still household names and great actors. The budget for this was only $6 million. And it made $138 million. Which is amazing. Aye, that's quite a bit, isn't it? That's a bit of pocket change there. <laughs> they half, man. So it's in in the black by by one hundred and thirty-two million dollars. You think of some of the actors, 
I suppose you forget what long before, right? I've always thought of him as being the same age and everything I've seen him. Aye. And he's no. And you know, <laughs> back in this, he must have been early 30s, late 20s, early 30s. Aye. I've no done my math, but so he was still a kind of up and coming but good actor. I mean, Tom Berenger was probably the the biggest actor in the, the film, I would Aye. imagine. Aye. Aye, uh, it's like you say, with Willem Dafoe, mate. He's, I think he's like another one of them that kind of defies age, isn't he? <laughs> Which is that kind of that face. Remember the wee things, the wee glove things you used to put your fingers in and make faces for them? I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> it's got these big rubbery curtains. Oh. So we start off with a film, mate. It's, it's a score, man. Just, just hear the score. Which is <laughs> the title. Music is right. Adagio for Strings. And it's no the Tiesto version. Because that would be fucking mental. <laughs> oh, no, mate. Fucking, oh, there'd be there's so much of a different film, wouldn't it? Oh. It's, it's, it's haunting. It's, it, it gets you in the mood before you've even seen a scene of the film. Aye. So it does. Aye, it's, aye, things are dramatic, shall we say. <laughs> aye, dramatic, sombre, numbing. And you get a Bible passage that says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth. <laughs> which is from Hellestiastists, which is uh-huh. a book in the Bible, and I've said it wrong. And basically just means, young people, enjoy your youth. Be happy while you're still young. Do what you want to do. Follow your heart's desire. But remember, big God, he's going to judge you. All right. <laughs> big God. Big shoe, big shoe. <laughs> she, oh, she, big, she, big, she. <laughs> so, <laughs> we pan, pan after the Bible passage and our opening scene is just dust and a hive of activity, kind of army stuff, cars, and then a plane's landing in it, mate. Aye. Uh, it's all the new recruits showing up to Vietnam in it. The cherries, aye, <laughs> just aye, just, and it's obviously Charlie Sheen, and it that's how you first see Charlie Sheen, and it or his his character Taylor, as I've called him, um, he's just fucking assessing into it, and the next thing he's all these new recruits are just seeing the body bags coming. I don't know, just... I actually, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I, eh, uh, new guys coming in, and the dead guys going onto the same plane. You go back home, you're like, know what I mean? Because one of the guys says to Chris, he says, eh, is that what I think it is? <laughs> I mean, see if that was a Glaswegian war effort. <laughs> you turn and go at him, eh! <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. What a question. <laughs> but you're right, mate. It's 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 like a conveyor belt of humans, and it? It's just in and out, in and out. And you see a platoon coming back for a day and a tour. And they're all beaten up and black, bogging and injured and stuff. Welcome to the Nam. Yeah, aye, because it's Taylor and it has like a kind of like a kind of stare off with some like soldier. And I don't know if maybe they're supposed to be like the same age. You know what I mean? But Taylor looks all fresh and whatever. Not that and this guy just looks frazzled, didn't he? Oh, he actually, I just looks PTSD. He's looks... nuts. <laughs> No, who I thought it was. Who's the guitarist in uh, Rolling Stones? Keith Richard. I mean, I thought it was Keith Richard, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. See, if I'd, if I'd opened his mouth <laughs> and, and said, <laughs> it would have been Keith Richard. But I can see just about what you're saying there, mate. Aye, oh. definitely. But it's September 1967. And it's just on like North Cambodia, in it. Uh, gives you your first kind of semblance of the time, the date, and the, the canopy. And then you're in the canopy looking up for the camera's point of view. It's silent apart from the kind of wee jungle noises, and you just see the sun creeping Aye. through the canopy of the trees. It's fucking brilliant, man. Aye. And just in the distance, you can just hear uh, Creedence Clearwater run through the jungle. <laughs> Oh. Uh, 
You see Rebecca Elias, he's walking about like Wurzel Gummidge, like a scarecrow. He's got the big giant M16 in his back. Do you know what I mean? Battle-hearted sergeant. Um, and Chris is like chopping with a machete through the brush. And aye. obviously he's getting stuck and his hands are all blistered and all that, aren't they? Aye. Aye, just... Yeah, uh, the new guy on point just clear the way for the rest of us, sort of. Know what I mean, and just it's the the heat and all that into it. It's just that him trying to cut through the, the brush is just uncomfortable. <laughs> I know, what I mean. I know. As we do in a lot of films, it's usually women that do it right, but in this one, we see Chris doing the <laughs> slap his face and all that. So. <laughs> He comes across, he comes through the brush, they, they come across his first sighting of dead soldiers. Aye. Well, what's left of dead soldiers, they look as if they've been burnt alive and they've got a leg missing and stuff. And big Sergeant Barnes comes through, it's Tom Berenger, and he's obviously been cut to ribbons and he's been there for a long time. <laughs> what you going to do? I ain't going to bat you. <laughs> aye. aye. What is it he says, I that, that 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 that's a, a a good a good or something like that. And he's like it's a dead one. You're like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, just exactly. He, it's the enemy, it's no humans, it's just aye. fodder, isn't it? No, he's aye, because he's obviously had enough sort of thing, isn't it? But <laughs> the next thing <laughs> we Taylor just starts Oh, I'm off a fusty. Or is it, does he fall here? Yeah. He starts slapping his neck. You see the close-up. He's got ants over his neck. And he's it looks like he's about to collapse. Um, so, like, Barnes shouts. He says, fucking <laughs> Greenhorn, man. Take, get somebody else up here, up to point, you know what I mean? And Doc and Elias go up to, to Chris and just say, look, you're carrying far too much stuff. You're dafty. Aye. Um, but right, right away here, they're, they're pouring the water down his neck and getting the ants off him. And Elias is talking to him, and you can see a semblance of humanity for Elias. You know what I mean? He's he doesn't hate everybody. He just talks to people on their level. And he says, "The next time before you go, out, come see me. I'll tell you what you can take, what you can't take." And he's <laughs> smiling and all that. You know what I mean? Aye, Aye polar opposites for Barnes and it <laughs> because with Barnes once. Uh, somebody else brought up to take point. You've got Mad uh, Red, who's played by John C. McGinley. Hey, choose, choose chewing gum a million miles an hour. Get up the hill, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what you say there, Bob? Oh, dear man. Oh, aye. Elias Mad. actually says to Kristen, he says, look, give me some of your gear and I'll haul it for you. You know what I mean? Like, aye. Oh. Aye. Oh, you're, you're a nice, you're a nice man. You're not like that other man that looked like Freddy Krueger there. <laughs> so then he goes like, bro, you know that doc slaps Chris's face and goes, you okay, you okay? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's when he collapses. Uh, he collapses in the jungle. But the next thing, they're back at a base, aren't they? And Aye. Chris is a... Uh, Digging this fox all winter, and then this is when you he, he hear the Charlie Sheen narration in it. Well, it's actually like a, a letter back home, isn't it? That's it, mate. He's just talking about his daily chores and how he's got. I think I might have made a mistake coming here. <laughs> and that's the first inkling you get that he's not been drafted, that he's volunteered to go there after he's in back. Because as we find out later, he's. He comes for a wee bit of privilege. He's educated and he had no reason to go, but he does. But he's just, he's unloading the chopper with other guys. He's clearing the brush. And there's other guys having a shave, cleaning their feet. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons check, then a piss. See Elias, right? It gives you a, shows you him like for the back. And I've always thought he was doing a piss. Aye. I'm not sure now, but... <laughs> Watch it's, that again. See what I, I, I don't get either. It's when the other wee soldier walks up like, right to him and he's like, hey, back in the pee, eh? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey don't sad you uh, got your schlong out, have you? Have a good time there. <laughs> oh, nice you've got, you got some on that. <laughs> 
Um, so I think it was actually Dane Baith. I think he was having a, a bit of a release to himself. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. The pan over <laughs> to... Look at me! <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> <laughs> but then pan to Mad King, who's played by Keith David, who we've got a lot of time for, haven't we, mate? Aye. I've got a lot of time for Big Keith. <laughs> he's another actor, by the way. It pops up in everything. So good. But he's never at like, the, the focal point, you know what I mean? No. No, he is not. I mean, some of it was in They Love, wasn't it? Aye. Aye. And uh, I mean, he's meant for, for this to They Love. It was the, the stepfather and something about Mary. <laughs> he's just all round, very versatile actor. But in this, he's, um, he's always upbeat. He's trying to smile at everything. Swears Aye. like a trooper. Um, he's, he's writing a letter home to his missus and they can't spell. <laughs> she she know what I'm saying anyway. Uh, she don't read too, too good know how. Like, fucking hell. Oh, but I just see when uh, Chris is obviously digging this foxhole and all. See the 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 sweat just pushing off him. You're like that. Vietnam just looks uncomfortable the whole time. Aye, Aye. that's it. Like that. It's not just hot, it's the humidity. It just looks as if you just wake up and sweat, you know what I mean? But while he's doing this foxhole, you've got Junior and King ha- uh, Big Harold sitting ribbing him about being the Aye. new guy and stuff like that. Aye. Yo, man, dig that hole. <laughs> I never told you to stop. <laughs> that hole like, ain't going to dig itself. <laughs> I certainly don't like Junior. Aye. I didn't going... like Junior. I still don't like him, you know what I mean? He's obviously a bit, he's obviously got a wee bit about him sort of thing, know what I mean? But he's just a fud, just <laughs> unlikable. And as you say, mate, Chris is narrating through all this to his gran, just saying how he hates it. He's so tired all the time. Nobody cares about the new guys. He thinks he's made a big mistake, basically. You know what I mean? So Barnes then hands out the orders and Elias is to take all the newbies, isn't he? Aye, that's that. It's like the lieutenant and all that's there, and that's when you kind of that's when you first find out that Barnes is in charge. You know what I mean? The lieutenant's just a fucking he's like a daft wee boy. You know what I mean? But then you've got a... <laughs> you've got you've got on this thing you find out on audit. O'Neill is just a pure suck up, kiss ass, smarmy bastard. You know what I mean? What's <laughs> <laughs> saying there, Bob? Aye. <laughs> and Elias just says to him, didn't he? Hey O'Neill. Take a day, take a break. You don't have to be a prick every day. <laughs> <laughs> aye, and it's just aye. Aye, because that, that's what Elias says, isn't it? Because there's definitely gonna be like some form of attack for the Vietnamese and he's like uh, I've got new guys, they're greenhorns and all that, they don't know anything. So chances are we're gonna bump into something. But as it only was that nah 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 you've got the fresh meat buddy and just again the way they just <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they just talk of it as <laughs> like soldiers how they're just like fresh meat no that no I mean like oh, fuck sake yeah, man did you say after the, the kind of that we that we briefings finished they they kind of disperse and Lieutenant Wolf says to Sergeant Barnes uh, 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 Sergeant Barnes I, I think that uh, in front of the men uh, maybe I should be giving the orders you know what I mean. And then Barnes just kind of leans into him. So much so that Wolf's like, ah. <laughs> sir. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my ass slapped here. <laughs> it's, it's then we see Elias follows up on his word. He's as good as his word. He's got Gardner and he's got Chris. And he's checking their, their gear and he's saying, don't need that, you don't need that. Put that away. Tie this up properly. So he's looking after his, his guys and he's like, look, just... Do what you're told, just listen to what I'm saying, guys will be all right, you know what I mean? Uh, and then uh, he says, he says, if you get last, don't shout out. <laughs> it's like two veins on it, taking them shot him. You hold my horn. <laughs> oh, there's a man out in the jungle. Where is everybody? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I but it's like getting ready to do an ambush, isn't they? And obviously these other veterans and that, they're all just sitting there. Just pelt on each other, know what I mean? 
fucking and they don't want a new guy with them either, know what I mean? So obviously that a new guy must be just fucking cannon fodder, know what I mean? That's it, definitely. They don't want the responsibility of looking after somebody either. Um but just so they're out they're out on troll and it starts pelting her in and Chris explains that his choice to this is where he explains his choice to enlist and and he introduce guys as nobody's kind of thing, you know what I mean? I'm a nobody. Aye. That's it. Grunts, nobody cares about them. Uh, and it is, it's just, aye, that's it. And that's when you you realise as well, isn't it, that none of these guys had a choice but to go to Vietnam and there was a fuck aye. all in life for them sort of thing. Aye. He's on point again. He's up at the front again. <laughs> and when he's narrating, but this is the worst line they say in the whole thing. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing here, Grandma. Out here. In the mud. <laughs> Out here. Mud. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, mm-hmm. we Granny Taylor must be like, this is a smash and read this. <laughs> I know. But he's on uh, first watch. Um, they're all sleeping at night time. Obviously, he's doing his guard duty. Does it fine? Then wakes up Junior to say, hey, man, it's your shift, man. Your turn, man. Maybe <laughs> Junior does like getting waking up. Then it no. <laughs> all right motherfucker i'm up you know what i mean but Aye. junior fucking goes right back to sleep didn't he catch Aye, catch right some z's <laughs> Aye. that's it we've all been so, there mate <laughs> i've been there i've all been there on point you know what i mean uh, but a short while after chris wakens up with a, a startle he's getting bitten by ants again um, he checks the time on his watch <laughs> and see every time I see him checking his watch I always think he fucking Pulp Fiction <laughs> <laughs> he had this watch up my ass <laughs> <laughs> and he hears some kind of movement and decides uh-huh. to just sit upright and put his hood right over his face and just have a wee crack at it didn't he uh-huh. and then you see the first member of the Viet Cong Coming out of a tree, it's brilliant. Aye, aye, because see, years ago when I first watched that, I'm like, what the fuck's he looking at? You know what I mean? And then you obviously see it and you're going, oh, that's crafty, that. <laughs> aye. It's brilliant because for the, for the sake of some twigs and branches on their helmets, it just pans right into a silhouette, man, with the, the rest of the jungle. It's amazing. You don't see it until you move. I mean, even watching it again the other day, and I'm looking, and I was like, where is he again? Because I know somebody's coming out, and I was like, I couldn't <laughs> remember until he moved. So, right. like, absolute class. But right away, the thing this film does to you, it takes you into Chris's position, and you, you instantly think, holy shit, everybody's sleeping. I've not got the the claymores. No. What did I If the minute I move, I'm getting seen, you know what I mean? So you are getting Oh, shake yourself. <laughs> Aye, because it's, it's, it's quite tense, isn't it? Because it's just obviously you hear the old heart thumping stuff, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. the way the, the camera's panning in, seeing where uh, Chris's position is, it's like you're the Vietnamese soldiers, you know what I mean? And you're just approaching him, and, he, and he's just <laughs> he's just sitting there like a wee nun in a shroud. <laughs> Aye, just as his head starts to come out of the bushes. Aye. Like, Have you seen him yet? 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 So I mean, but one of them obviously triggers a trip wire, and then all hell breaks loose in it. Yeah, that's it. I say, what is it? Sets off a flare or something, and then the next thing it just ends up a, a massive gun battle. You know what I mean? And <laughs> see the thing at all? He starts like to uh, try to set the cables off, and the guy's like, "The safety zone." Like, you didn't mention the safety, mate. I was there when you said to him, "You didn't mention the safety." <laughs> I'd mention the safety. But it's, uh, it's funny, he's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Safety's on, you fucking idiot. Oh, so there's back. a firefight and shoot, and it's kind of, it's over before it's kind of started. It's quite quick. And then once it stops, like, <laughs> just funny. thinks he's been hit, didn't he? Uh, that was funny, O'Neill. I know. He just like, pulls a grenade and he just goes, <laughs> it's doing like a launch. He just goes, eh. Blows up some guy. Right away. Aye. 
as soon as the fire stops, you can see there's people injured. But Junior doesn't care. He's just trying to plead his innocence. Hey, man, Taylor fell asleep. It was his watch. He fell asleep. That motherfucker. Uh, you know what I mean? I just outright lying, know what I mean? And then that's mad Chris. <laughs> Fawzi, oh, man. <Matt. laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> no, I mean... Tell me straight, Doc. Am I going to die? Yeah, you're okay, you fucking idiot. There's a guy kind of really badly wounded and he's screaming. And then uh, Barnes just fucking jumps and tap him and shuts his mouth and goes, shut up. Take the pain. Uh, I mean, then he no, takes I mean... a horn away and the guy's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, But it is. It's when you see the other rookie in it, Gardner. He's, he's copped a soul, you know what I mean? He's dying. <laughs> know what I mean? Uh, and then... Um, well, Harold, big Harold, who's Forrest Whitaker, he's comforting Chris. And he's like, hey, man, calm down. You're going to be okay. You're going to be in the hospital. We're going to be giving you blow jabs. <laughs> hey, calm down, eh? So, Chris thinks he's dying, but Gardner, who was with him, he does die, didn't he? Aye, he's, he's gone, and he? And it's... Like the whole thing, like it goes around all the soldiers, and it's all must be just the same reaction. They all just sit there quiet, you know what I mean? Must have seen it a million times already, and it's just, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's just mad burns. Everybody's all staring at this dude body, like, oh, that's shocking that. And he just goes, I want you all to look at this lump of shit. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're a heart burns, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, Barnes sides with Junior about blaming Chris, but he knows it's Junior Aye. that's fell asleep. So he's better catch one of you motherfuckers catching Z's on me again, not being up with a court martial. And Aye. Chris says to him, says, I didn't fall asleep, sir. It was Junior. It was Junior. Said, Shut the fuck up. Aye. And then he says to Junior, like, looks him right in the eye and says, you're humping the body. You know what I mean? As if I, I fucking know it was you, but you're on my side, so I, I, you're my you're one of my band of merry men. <laughs> but bag him and bag him. Fucking so sympathetic there, Sergeant. I know Barnes. that's it. Really it's just a uh, deep body. I just bag him and tag him, get him to fuck. And then that's when Elias Elias kinda, him, sorry. I he just says to him, I the guy might still be alive with a couple of days to learn something. Know what I mean? So Elias practically gone. That's your fucking fault, you know what I mean? But that's it. That's exactly it. So we're back to base. Um I'm trying to see what I brought down here. Aye. Chris is just back from being in, in the hospital with his wee scratch, you know what I mean? Aye. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> he comes across Mad King. <laughs> Mad King sort of across with a case of beer. Like, where'd you get that for? Oh, yeah, took it out of the supplies. They're always fucking stealing for us anyway. You know what I mean? And it's just these, see, like base camp, see, between these two sets of, like, obviously you've got Elias' crew and you've got Barnes' crew. See, it's like fucking, like a high school, isn't it? It's like American high school right. films. It's like two factions within the, because they're, they're all in the one platoon. Yeah. But they've got their two factions. And it's, although the two of them are sergeants, I think Barnes is just. He's staff sergeant, so I think he just outranks Elias just a wee bit, didn't he? Aye, aye. But that's it. Uh, O'Neill, isn't it? <laughs> Catch King with these beers. Like, nah, you wee thieving cunt. I've got a job for you. The next thing, isn't it? They're up there not cleaning out these latrines. Just, oh. it's... <laughs> Big steel buckets of shite, man. Aye, and there's still guys still gone while they're doing it. Aye. And you can oh. imagine the heat and the smell and even when they're dragging the bucket suit there's fucking steam coming after them and all that in the heat <laughs> oh mate it's bogging in it I don't know what they're supposed to do I know I think they're supposed to do like a chemical clean or something it's aye just... they pour diesel in it and set it aye. light sorry they but um, they're just they're still trying to King's still trying to be jovial through it all isn't he and he's still talking about look I'm nearly home time and says to Chris how many days you got left <laughs> I'm on day three thirty-two, and then the wee mad surfer did. Oh man, I can't even remember being on day three thirty-two. He's laughing. You gotta, you gotta count backwards, man. 
<laughs> just got elongated his words, that. Right. Oh. I forgot to say, the first thing King does say when he's chilling out of the toilet is, Motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? Please. Motherfuckers always fucking with us. <laughs> so so yeah, many fucking. <laughs> Excuse me. Keith David says that better than fucking Samuel Jackson. I don't dare what him does this. Aye. Um, so man. He's went for that to talk about going home. And he says, soon you'll be home, you'll be sniffing the pines, sniffing that show fine, goddamn pussy. <laughs> like, that uh, pussy down by the river. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking super mad, mad Keith David. It's when Chris, tell, it's when Chris tells uh, King and Surfer dude, name escapes me, that he volunteered. And it's just look, it was as if he's a fucking mad hawk, I, really, man. I uh, you volunteered for this shit, you know what I mean? And it's just again, that's when you realise that these guys had like, practically no choice to come here, you know what I mean? And because <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> King says to him, You look educated. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Aye. And he's right. Oh. Because obviously as you say, mate, King and the rest of them are grunts. They had no choice. They were just drafted. Hull, oh, you're in. Know what I mean? Say to your own, get on that plane. Aye. And this is where Chris King just hands Chris his first ever doobie. <laughs> I guess after they're done cleaning up the shite, aren't they? They go into this stoner bunker, isn't it? And it just it's like fucking feeling loving in Las Vegas, man. He walks in, he's just to... looking about Elias is in like a hammock and all that. He's obviously already stoned and he's just <laughs> waving Aye. suggestively, you know what I mean? Eating his banana, but big gay uh, Ra just sitting in the chair with a big staff. No, I think he's cool as fuck in this. Uh, he's like, Welcome to the underworld. <laughs> <laughs> and then he offers him the pipe, no, that, and he talks on the pipe. Right. And then it's just that, well, we, that song, the fucking, is it White Rabbit or something? <laughs> That's always playing in the background. Soon when somebody's getting stoned, it's always like, Oh, I. One. <laughs> so Elias comes off his hammock, doesn't he? He's like, first time. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on this. <laughs> he puts a up. <laughs> Aye. It's very, very homoerotic, that scene. You know what I mean? What? First time. Oh, I mean, he's got him smoking. This smoking right. it, doing a big giant shotgun barrel, you know what I mean? Oh. Uh, Mad Raz look fucking... This is the underworld. We got, we got this shit in the wind. <laughs> oh, All I man. say to him, the worm has definitely turned with you, Taylor. Um, then we flip over to Barnsley's kind of... Mate, is it, is, it, is, it, is it Bunny and Junior? And it's just the, the wee country song. We don't smoke marijuana. <laughs> Aye, uh, Mad Bunny's obviously a pure redneck, and he's like, "That's a fucking tune right there." She's <laughs> like, "Yo, man, it's, it's a... shit. That white man music, shit." <laughs> he's like, "I want me some. I, like, I want me some Motown." And oh my god, mate! But Mad Kevin Dillon, man, he's fucking. I remember seeing the first time I watched this as well. I'm like, I don't like you either. There's just something fucking the matter with you. Aye, it frightened me. It definitely. Obviously, the most frightening bit about him is to come at the village, but uh, he's just, he's in there, he's got no, no fear or nothing. He just thinks it's a, a day out because he's stunning at the bunker. He's like, but those fuckers are over there getting high. <laughs> and he's swigging beers, not means <laughs> if he's not there. That's what I mean. Mate. It's, it's fucking, he would have been a, a, a serial killer, you know what I mean? He's been allowed to be there to just kill people, you know what I mean? He's loving his fantasy. Uh, he's the kind of people you want to earn a fucking war beside you, you know what I mean? This is good <laughs> fun, this. But the lieutenant <laughs> comes in, doesn't he? Uh, he's obviously clean-shirted and he's got a beer, one beer. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> See what he says to that wee guy? It's like, I think his name's Ramirez or something. That's, that's, that's quite a shrine you've got there, Ramirez. And he's like, aye. <laughs> Judy, bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your small talk's amazing. And he goes up to Junior and Bunny. 
hey fellas how are we fellas i'm one of you guys fellas <laughs> bunny just goes hey lt check this out and he fucking bites an empty can doesn't he uh, i like that shit <laughs> it's, uh, it's very impressive soldier <laughs> I'll, I'll send it home but just his message like that. oh thanks a fucking budweiser can you know what i mean but he's 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 just it's step away from that lead based paint, Timmy. That's that's him. I know what I mean. He's no business being there. He's, uh, he's the kind of guy you always allude to about putting signs on bottles saying, Don't drink this bleach. <laughs> he's that guy. <laughs> he came up with that idea, you know what I mean? So we get back uh, to Elias' bunker, and that's when Tracks of My Tears, Smokey Robinson starts playing. Fucking love that song. And they're all stoned, you know, just start dancing. It's iconic, man. Absolutely <laughs> iconic. Aye. Aye. So whenever you hear that, I just think of that scene. You know what I mean? But Aye. You also had like, O'Neill and Barnes and that all playing poker as well, didn't they? And the lieutenant sits down, but obviously he knows he's no their, their group. You know what I mean? What uh, <laughs> What you playing there, fellas? <laughs> cards? Is that cards you're playing? <laughs> yes, sir. It's, it's John C. McGinley again, isn't it? He's like, what, 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 eh, uh, yeah, yeah, you saving up to be Jewish? <laughs> and everybody's okay. like, eh. I don't, uh, know, I don't know what that meant. I didn't get it, but they all go to it. So I just laughed and all. <laughs> oh, but is he after What's that at all? What's saying there, LT? Uh, <laughs> see he says to Barnes and all. Fucking poor guy. I just, I, sometimes I just look at people and I just know this this guy's not going to make it and he's like no I mean Burns and Burns is just staring at him like I you're fucking one of them <laughs> you know what I mean oh uh, fucking yeah. oh superb man so uh, when we're in Elijah's tent they're all high they're singing tracks of my tears it pans up to the light bulb which in turn pans back to the jungle Chris starts narrating again and then we find out it's New Year's Day 1968 just another day, and it? Aye, that's it. Just another day, mate. And they're marched, but as it says, either they, they wrote bombs on this place and all that, and now they need to go in and sweep the area. This, but, again, is on point. Aye. And Barnes comes mean, up must... to him and says, we need to check that bunker, and Chris says, what bunker? That one. Aye. Barnes has seen it for <laughs> fucking... Three bodies back, you know what I mean? Chris is meant to be looking out for it, didn't he see fuck all? Oh, <laughs> so well And it's just either coming across like a, a Vietnamese base in it because they're coming up, there's like campfires and all this, and the campfires are still burning and shit. And it's like signs that obviously they've just been there, you know what I mean? Deserted camp, but as you say, mate, there's still smoke coming off the fire, the kettle's still boiling over it. Um, Elias decides to drip into a trench that he's fun. Aye. And he's up here, he's V Torch. Aye, mate, that is fucking pure claustrophobic, isn't it? Aye, very, very claustrophobic. So, ends up, Booby Trap kills Saul, and another one comes out. They're in the, the kind of wee camp, they're looking through some maps and shit. They think they've found important information, didn't they? And so they close it over the tin, go to pick it up, and bang. Aye. Sal's deed. And then the other guy comes out with the arms, didn't he? <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, I see if that was Robocop. <laughs> Come on, give the man a hand. <laughs> Can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> Clarence Bodiger, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Aye, but it's... Aye. The, the shout on the medics, you know what I mean? This, you're like, oh. That that guy, that guy's gone. You know what I mean? He's Aye. what's left of him is charcoal. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's fucking harsh. <laughs> but, uh, he's got no arms, a chest full of shrapnel, and eyes as fucking big as Homer Simpson. You know what I mean? So we got a bit of a, 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 another view of the lieutenant who's on the the horn, and he's bumbling and stuttering and fucking out his depth into man. Aye. Aye, and as that's, that's when uh, Chris <laughs> uh, comes across Barnes, didn't he? And Barnes is just sitting there, like mourning. It's like the first time you kind of see Barnes is 
like kind of human. You know what I mean? Other right. things are just a pure hard blast all the way through it, but that that was like a like a wee moment of weakness. I just just like contemplating, just sitting musing over what's happened, and as you say, mate, I, there's a shred of humanity there because he's upset at people being killed, but it manifests into fucking rage and anger. It's all about Aye. revenge, isn't it? Aye. Aye. He's, <laughs> he's looking, they're looking for one of their soldiers as well, weren't they? They're looking for Manny. You know what I mean? Before Aye. they can move on. <laughs> that guy. Aye. <laughs> Arm curl guy who does the say fuck all. He just does some weights in the party. Aye. And Manny! They're not shout out, but they're shouting, Manny! Aye. But, um, Aye, it's Chris says, isn't it, that Elias and a couple others stay behind to look for, uh, keep searching the place and waiting for the engineers to turn up and all that, and they move made their way to this village, and then that's when they come across Manny, isn't it? Manny's it's been... been long before King found him. Aye. And as you see Manny, Manny's been tied to a post, isn't he, and had his, his throat slit open, isn't he? And it's yeah, just, just everybody's switched. all sitting there. They're all looking at his body, but they're obviously all raging. You know what I mean? Aye. Just like you're mirroring for Braveheart. <laughs> Tied to your post. Barnes, they're all looking, as you say, mate, they're all quiet. <clears throat> Barnes just says, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when they look down and they notice the village. Aye. Aye they this come is where shit gets fucking... Aye. Hard hitting in it. I absolutely heinous. Uh, I the, the first the first thing is a runner, and there was a guy running. Aye. Like in, a good bit away. But Barnes just one shot with a rifle takes him out, didn't he? Aye, that's it. I think he's getting away for this fucking this shit. This is about to go down into. But Aye. then Bunny walking into Aye. the village. Hey, piggy, piggy. Hey, piggy, piggy. Blows the fucking pig apart. I know it's fucking. Aye, it's just a lot. Obviously, a lot of this shit must have happened. You know what I mean? But I've just Why? the feelings have took control with the fucking the whole situation, aren't they? Because they start to get they start getting into this village, aren't it? And they start rounding everybody up, and because <laughs> they they think that this wee village supplies the Vietnamese soldiers with weapons and food and all that, don't they? Yeah, but it's the first thing. Uh... Ra says, he says, look, enough rice here to feed the fucking full medallion. Um, so they find a hole and they get two women at it and they're shouting for the other two guys to come out. Then they only move. Barnes just goes up, puts a grenade in, doesn't he? Aye. We're in a hole. Aye, <laughs> boom. I think it's two wee boys on it. And you're like, ah, fuck's sake, man. And then Chris is in a house as well, isn't it? And he finds a I'd say a, a, a handicapped guy, a disabled guy or something, you know what I mean? And he's wee old more. But all... cast is, he's cast as the one-legged man. Aye. But <laughs> that's it. Taylor's fucking... He's at level 10, I know, isn't he? He's fucking shouting and screaming and fucking out of control sort of thing. Aye. So they also, by this time, outside, they've found ammunition as well. Big fucking stores it and all that. Uh, so as you say, mate, Chris is starting to lose his shit. He doesn't see that the guy's handicapped. It looks like he's smiling. Like, what are you smiling at, huh? Huh? I wasn't gonna hurt you. Why don't you listen, motherfucker? You think it's funny? Dance, motherfucker. They just start yeah. shooting down at his feet. Nah. The guy's hopping about. Aye, nah, I doesn't know what's going on. What I mean, but it's, it's the wee more. The wee more is obviously in the background, fucking leading and all that. Know what I mean? Because obviously the guy's. A handicapped, you know what I mean? And on Chris's shoulder, you've got Bunny fucking egging him on. You Aye. know what I mean? Yeah, man, fucking do her, man, do her. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I mean. I know I like that cunt. <laughs> no. But so they decide, look, Chris is calmed down and he goes to turn around and go out. And then Bunny just fucking says, Aye, look at him. He's laughing at you. You're laughing at me, son. I think it's pretty fucking funny and turns away as if he's going to leave but rattles him with a fucking butt of his rifle and that's just it. keeps pounding on the guy's head man aye that's it aye. kills him with a butt of his shotgun doesn't he and with the fucking mere sick about that and all is that he's always like it's the, the guy's maw the guy's maw just sat there and fucking had to watch it as well you know what I mean but 
as I'm talking about, Vinny would have been aye. He's a he would have been a fucking serial killer because he's just he's like, did you see that fucking head come up up and you're like that? Ah. No, I mean, I feel fucking. See it? I've got blood spatter on my face, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel horrible. Fucking actor just done, mate, and he's like that. Ah. Oh, that was a, that was some laugh, wasn't it? Like, no, you creepy bastard. He's, he's even freaked to a Neil. Does a Neil come in by this time? And, and fucking, he's like, but say there, Bunny. <laughs> you know I mean, just fucking shit himself. Bunny's like, ah, but Bunny wants to. Bunny's like, ah, come on, man, let's fucking do them. Let's burn the whole fucking village down. Aye. Just, oh. I said, just to your blood lost in it. Aye. So Lerner, who's played by Johnny Depp. Um, he's out there trying to translate for Barnes for some of the hostages. No. Barnes is interrogating this guy. He thinks he's NVA. And the guy's saying, no, no, no. He won't answer any questions. He says, what about the runner? Went, well, maybe he was a straggler and he ran away. And they come and they take what they want. So mm-hmm. the guy's wife is pleading for her husband at a time. And Barnes walks away. But she'll no shut up. Aye. He's telling her to shut up. They want these answers and all that, isn't it? And See, when Barnes... you watch this, mate, See, when you watch Barnes's face, he's stunning, looking back. You can see him make his mind up. Aye. You're like, wow. <laughs> so, because the next thing he just turns around and goes, fuck it. Bang. He shoots this woman in the heat. And it's all the soldiers are all like that. Oh, what the fuck? Know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, there's... There's some of them like, oh, I am glad they done it. And then there's other ones like, oh, this isn't fucking, this isn't right. You know what I mean? Aye. It's, it's, it's never more prominent than, than than here, where you see the faction between the platoon, Aye. the Barnes and the Elias crew, just fucking, yeah, yeah. Oh, holy shit. You know what I mean? Aye. And see the shot that he does with the rifle? It's fucking horrible. Because you, you don't see an entry point. You just see the tapper heat going, Aye. And, and fucking fawn back and you're like holy shit man but he doesn't <laughs> stop there didn't he no nah, he gets that. the wee lassie that's screaming and he goes like I know this is her daughter and all that and then he fucking holds a gun to her he's just like oh Jesus fuck no nah, man <laughs> that's it and it's like the lieutenant he's just stunning there isn't he he's just letting this all happen as well where, when he's supposed to be in charge you know what I mean aye it's just aye. fucking as, it's horrible, isn't it? Because he is, he's, he's going to shoot this wee lassie unless he gets the answers he wants, you know what I mean? And everybody's just sure. standing there, doesn't know, don't know what to do, you know what I mean? Some are for it, some are only for it, but they're not going to stand up to him, you know what I mean? The ones the ones that are only for it are fear him. Because they're like, ah, this guy's a fucking crackpot. He's a psycho, he doesn't care, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the only thing that probably saves that wee lassie's life is Elias returning to the, the base camp, do you know what I mean? But this time, uh, in between times, he's fun. A wee guy in the trench and shot him, isn't he? <laughs> but Elias, Elias comes back and goes, Barnes, what the fuck are you doing? Let her go. And he lets her go, and then Elias just sets about him. Aye, that's it. Because he's like, you know, as it says, you're no a firing squad, you piece of shit. You know what I mean? And then they just start rolling a bit. You know what I mean? But, aye, it's like the base sides of must have what been happening in Vietnam, you know what I mean? Some of them just wanted to fucking do everybody in, and but there was obviously people there and running about that nah, this is fucking wrong sort of thing. But, definitely, mate. definitely. The Elias says to the lieutenant, see if they're obviously the fight and all that, and they, they get split up and all that. He's saying to the lieutenant, why did you know fucking date about that there? And the lieutenant right away, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see a thing. You know what I mean? You're like, ah, oh. what? Aye, <laughs> I found they needed underhanded labor. Killed, it was that fucking wet wipe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just before it, the lieutenant gives the order to burn the village because Wanny Barnes' crew have said, let's touch it, let's touch it. And the lieutenant's, uh, 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 uh the village, you know what I mean? Aye. That's it. It's fucking mental, isn't it? And that's it. It's so, the village is done. He's torching, mate. Aye, sorry for cutting you off here, but I never noticed this until I watched it all day. And as I said, as you know, I've watched it a, a lot, a lot of times. They're burning the village. Adagio with strings is playing. So it's pure sombre. You're made to feel like shit. See when Bunny sets a light to the, the shack and then Aye. lights his fag, you see murdered bodies Aye, in that killed. shack. Aye. Help me. 
Aye, just for the fucking sake of it. I always thought that was the shack for the one-legged man and the mother. Aye. And I had to fucking rewind it. I paused it back and I was like, no, that's new people. Aye. So he's went in there. And she's saying, get out, I'm burning your house. She's fucking done name in. Yep. Then burnt it and had a wee fag. Satisfied. She's like, oh, no way, man. Aye, he's, a, he's a fucking scumbag. <laughs> but the next bit, this bit is even more fucking horrible and all, know what I mean? Because obviously Chris is walking away from the village sort of hanging the heels. Obviously, it must be commotion or something. And it's fucking a group of soldiers, know what I mean? And they're going to try to rape fucking two wee lassies and all. And I was obviously reading up on this and all that as well. Um, but it's all of us, that was actually an experience all of us don't had himself. You know what I mean? Aye. You're like, ah, oh, fuck Correct. sake, man. But, That's horrible. I, I, it's, it's no graphic. You don't, it doesn't have to be. It's just the sound of wee girls crying in, in any language and then these grown men fucking horrible cunts That's and it. they're still trying to justify it to them. You know what I mean? It's like it's a fucking human being. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And the first thing Junior says is, What's the matter? You're a fag or something? Aye. You know what I mean? You're yeah. like, and then the guy with the moustache behind him, he's still out of breath because he was fucking Aye. on it. Fucking fuck. So Chris is a bad guy. You know, exactly, like, Jesus Christ, man. It's, it's, Horrible. Aye. That's what I mean, mate. It's, I had this machine gun day cuttings right there and then. Fuck it. But aye. it's obviously, like I say, it's, it's a thing all of our stone came across himself. You know what I mean? So the fact that that fucking happened is fucking woofed. But again, it must have happened all over Vietnam. Definitely, mate. Definitely. So again, the music kicks in. We're seeing them leave leave the village. And you're just seeing... Cinematography-wise, it's fucking amazing. Even the stuff that's kind of blurred. Explosions going off and all that. Just things burning and people wailing and all that. It's, it's fucking horrible, but it's it's obviously just so historically factual, do you know what I mean? Aye. Which is the way movies of this out should be. You can't leave it that horrible as it is. Aye, but I know you're saying that. They're, they're back at base, aren't they? And Elias is saying to the captain, "Ah, there was a fucking an illegal killing and all that. I'll I, I have a full report on this. Not I mean, and it's just <laughs> it's you know, like dirty bastards, man. Because the lieutenants, like Artie Barnes, and all." Ah, uh, nobody, nobody's going to believe him and all that. We'll, we'll make sure that we get away with it, sort of thing. But then, because the lieutenant's right beside him, and he's fucking sticking them in. He's like, ah, "Look, sir, it's, I want to report Lieutenant Wolf and Sergeant Barnes." And the lieutenant's like, eh, "I never seen anything. I never seen anything, <laughs> sir." <laughs> fucking right, but it's saving your time. Ah, uh, you get the the group of soldiers as well, isn't it? And they're talking about what happened at the village, and. There's still ones try to justify it, you know what I mean? But as when you get, is that Harold, Robert Whittaker's uh, character? Is that, I don't know about yours, but I'm not feeling good inside, you know what I mean? You're like that. Ah, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Captain Harris, who Elias is talking to, they get to like the boatman hall and he says, look, if I find out there's been illegal killings, there will be a court martial. But right now, I'm understaffed and I need every man I've got. Aye. So, I don't, yeah, fuck me now. That's because that's, that's when Barnes kind of gets the idea or not to get rid of Elias, isn't it? You know, that fucking dirty dog, man. <laughs> that's horrible, mate. So, Warren trust Barnes and fucking Lieutenant's crawling up his ass. Um, Chris has a chat at night with Elias, didn't he? Aye. Of kinda, you can see her having a, a nice wee bond. No, that's when Elias he doesn't believe in the war anymore. You know what I mean? He did to begin with, but See? now he's like, ah, we'll just lose him myself here. You know what I mean? And then Chris narrates what we all see anyway that half are with Elias and half are with Barnes. Do you know what I mean? So back to the bunker that they patrolled before, they've been told to get back here. <laughs> Chris pulled a leech off his face and all that. Must have been hundreds of bastards. I know. That's another thing, mate. See, just Vietnam itself. It was out to kill these guys. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The fucking ants, the dehydration, fucking malaria, the leeches. Snakes, 
I know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just Vietnam itself was out to kill these guys. So they're out, they're on uh, Warner. Craig Warren and Lerner are on point. And there's an ambush. They're fucking ambushed right away. Um so Warner Warren and Lerner get shot. They're in agony. Barnes gives Elias like three men, because Elias says to him, Look, if you don't let me go with three men run to flank them, they're gonna fucking end up running here, we're gonna shoot myself to shit. And Barnes says, Take your three men. And Elias kind of questions him. He says, Look, I don't want to put there my arse hanging in the wind. And that's where Barnes says, Look, I don't give a fuck about you wanting to go and tattle tail on me. Out here, your ass belongs to me. Do you know what I mean? Aye. We're all in this together, brother. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, my fucking aye. Um, and it's, but it's. See that ambush itself, it's fucking chaos in it. You don't know what the fuck is going on. No, I mean there's just bullets flying, everybody's getting shot. Everybody's getting done. No, I mean. Aye. See, there's a sta- there's a kind of standoff, right, with Chris and a Viet Cong that's in a bunker, right? Chris is behind a big giant ant hill. Aye. He's keeping it and shooting. And then every time he keeps shoot, some the wee, the wee Chinese guy shoots the ant hill, right? So Chris can't get a look in. But he comes out, sits up, and so it's like he doesn't get shot <laughs> in that, not I mean. Aye, blows it up. But, <laughs> but this is when the lieutenant into it, the lieutenant, he phones in a fucking artillery strike, not what I mean? And the next thing, the artillery just starts hitting the American soldiers, not what I mean? Friendly fire again. I mean, how fucking, how bad is it, not what I mean? <laughs> You're getting done off your head. Aye, Barnes starts cutting shrapnel at a guy's back, not that when they were in. Aye. And then obviously Barnes fucking um Harold breaks a trip wire and he's Aye. he's fucked. Know what I mean? uh, and Barnes... Chris brings Lerner in and and then goes back out. And that's where Barnes fucking loses a rag with a lieutenant Aye. for fucking order the airstrike. Aye. I had some with the phone, didn't he? Hit me with the phone, man. I'm feeling kind of woozy here, man. Hello? And modest, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, fucking hell, man. Oh. Uh, lieutenant. I don't see what he had some of He looks like a wee boy, doesn't he? Hi. I, I was trying to please you, Papa. <laughs> You're a disappointment to me, son. <laughs> You're an asshole, yeah, boy. <laughs> Aye. You're a wanker like your so, father before you. <laughs> Elias takes the squad to go and flank the Viet Cong, and Chris, what a wee boy, goes, Can I come too? <laughs> can I? Huh, can I come? Hmm? Elias really? just smiles at no him fool, and just mister? says, Oh, you hang back. No, that is cool. I'll oh. see you when I get back. You're like, Oh, that's sure fire way. He's getting done in. Uh, so Croft, Crawford get hit. Barnes pulls him back and says he'll go and get Elias. Man, he's like everybody fall back. We're getting shot to shit. What about Elias? And I'll go and get him. I'll yeah. fetch my pal. <laughs> I know. What I mean, name they queried that. Know what I mean? Like Barnes is going to get Elias. Eh? The man who <laughs> stuck one on you not fucking <laughs> an hour ago. <laughs> know what I mean, but. Aye, uh, you're just, what you're full what, what happened to the guys that Elias took with him? Oh, they, they head back. Because right, okay. Barnes talks to them, he's like, I, I will, we're falling back, and they, it's them that say, Elias is still out there, and he's right. like, I'll get Elias. Whereas it made sense, like, I'm one, we'll all go together. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I mean, fucking, right. oh. This but, time Elias is out there himself, he's fucking John J. Rambo just shooting uh, <laughs> the Viet Cong. He's went full first blood, didn't he? Ah! <laughs> but, and he's doing good, but Barnes is approaching all the time. He can hear the gunfire, knows where he is. Aye, and, aye it's like fucking it's like a hunter hunting his prey into it, you know what I mean? Because it's see the way they do it, and it's just cutting scenes between the two of them. But the, <laughs> see the way it is as well, it's like the camera like pans up towards uh, Barnes into it, and Barnes is already aiming down his rifle. And then that's when you see it's uh, Elias emerges from the, behind this bush, you know what I mean? 
play playing myself again, no doubt. But <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> I'm leaving my seed everywhere and beat them. <laughs> but uh, you're right, mate. A light just comes out for the brush and sees Barnes aiming and goes, Haha, you thought I was a dink, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but Barnes slightly lowers his rifle, then pulls it back up. And then the the realization and I Elias's eyes that he's doing me here. I that's a, it's just I see that it's that so many he's staring at me, hasn't he raised his rifle back up again? And then that's when you see Elias's face going, Oh, oh this man's bad. <laughs> but Barn shoots him, didn't he? And as I'm, I say to you before we we'll, we'll doing this, I fucking hated Tom Berenger after this film. Hated him, man. <laughs> aye, it was, but he was bad. What a character! Plays him aye. to perfection, but aye, he's a bad, bad bastard. Um, but this time, Barnes decides to leave the scene of the crime. Bumps into Chris. Where's Where's Elias? Where's Sergeant Elias? Elias is dead. Killed by the enemy. <laughs> Body's back there by a hundred meters. No, I mean, just, just what? 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 No. No, no uh, way. Elias is fucking immortal, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, but they start heading back to Odd Angel, isn't it? And it's Odd Angel, they're getting evacuated, don't they? Like choppers and stuff. And like the dead bodies and all this. You know, just like, oh, fuck's sake, everybody's been milked. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Phasers were set, set right to Malky. <laughs> the, the most horrible scene at this bit of the extraction is when the choppers are coming down the blow or the, the tarps after dead bodies, man. Uh, you're like, oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> but see, the whole time when they're getting they're like escaping, you can still hear gunfire. You know what I mean? Like, in mm-hmm. this, like Junko. And you know, so I was like, who the, like, who the hell still fucking shooting at? There's guys left behind. You know what I mean? But Aye. they'll get into this chopper into it and they're taking off. And then that's when <laughs> my heart roasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my head! Aye, the the C. Elias still oh. alive, running for a million soldiers, <laughs> and it's in slow motion. A dad with strings is playing. Get some fire on there, cover that man. So he's running in the background. The, the choppers are taking it. Yeah, soldiers know that, but it's kind of too late in it. He takes Aye. another couple in the back. Nah, pushing into the wind. And it's just, I uh, he's see that just appeared like <laughs> you're like, oh, we are like, it's not what I mean. He's running back, he's making his way back, and he's been abandoned by everybody, you know what I mean? And it's just that, obviously, that the the famous scene, you know what I mean? Where he just holds his arms up, like, <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, it's either why or it's take my lord. <laughs> why, and McLovin? Then... Why? <laughs> The bit you don't see in all the posters, which was a fucking great shot, is when obviously it collapses forward and the choppers just disappear. Do you know what I mean? As if fucking done and you're like, oh, that's horrible. And uh, Charlie, who the fuck's Charlie? (laughs) Chris Chris is in the chopper and he just dead stares barns, didn't he? Aye, aye, just turns around like that. You fucking, you said he was dead, you cunty chops. You know what I mean? But Barnes is like, that's a shit. Like, <laughs> but he's just like, he? oh, I got away with one there. You know what I mean? Like, are you, are you right, like... smile? <laughs> uh, you said he was dead, dead tired. I said he was dead tired of when he lied down. <laughs> we get back to the camps, base camps, and Chris is telling the boys what he thinks. He's under no illusion that Barnes killed Elias. He's like, I say, we fried it good tonight. And this is for big rackums into his own man. Aye. I fucking think he's great. It's like, yo, man, Elias knew what he was doing. He didn't ask you to fight his battles. Wherever he is, if there's a guard, and I hope there is, he's up there drunk as a fucking monkey and smoking <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking. But then it just gets ominous again, doesn't it? Because Barnes just walks into the sauna bunker, like sacred ground. You know what I mean? And he's just, just before it, but Ra says to him, he says, look, Barnes has been shot seven times. Seven times. What does that tell you? 
And Chris goes, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Only person that can kill Barnes is Barnes. <laughs> I know. Did you say, mate? Made so much the boogeyman, didn't he? Uh, oh. he? Just fucking appears. Y'all talk about killing? <laughs> ah, mate. He's just, see the way you keep saying that, mate? It's like, what's his name? Fuck, I can't remember the actor. Oh. But I, he's just, he's walked in with a, with a bottle of Jack Daniels, isn't he? Very sinister, you know what I mean? Just, what do you know about killing, you know what I mean? I know he's all loved Alliance and all this stuff, but I'm not going, because he practically admits that he kills Elias, you know what I mean? He's like, I have no problem with anybody if everybody does their job, but if one person steps out of line, I'm not going to put up with that. And you're like, That's true. you dirty bastard. <laughs> When the machine breaks down, we break down. Y'all talk about killing? Shit. Well, okay. I get it. You want to have a go at me? Go on. I won't say nothing. Four of you, one of me. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what my class. You motherfucker! Oh, fucking <laughs> just stupid! Just right next to him. You motherfucker! <laughs> I know he gets one good, one good rattling, doesn't he? Aye, and then obviously Barnes like sets about him. You know what I mean? To the point he's got he whips out this wee knife, doesn't he? And then that's when Rag gets back in against like, whoa, oh, Barnes man! <laughs> oh man, it's his man. <laughs> Smoke some shit. Ain't uh, worth it, Barnes. Ten years to climb the fucking walls, man. <laughs> but then it's like see the what are we see the when Barnes just slashes his face. It's like an insult into and he's like, ah, yeah, we dick. Ah, <laughs> like a cat scratch. Take that, oh. take that, motherfucker. Oh, so all know man. about death. Fuck, do you all know about death? <laughs> So we then find out the orders Tom, have come in. Tommy Lee Jones. Sorry. That's it. Tommy Lee Jones. That's how you're sounding like. Oh, Me? Yeah, I'm out of <laughs> We are the men in black. <laughs> they find out that they've got to go back into the valley that they've just fucking like, annihilated. They've got to go back in there. And this says in his narration, it says it feels like returning to the scene of the crime, which Aye. it probably did, man. And Chris knows that they are getting used as bait as well. Aye, that's it. Aye, he's, he's narrating like, in, the, in this letter to his granny again, isn't it? Like, we know there's going to be a big attack coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's just because they're, they're all taking up positions and all that. You know what I mean? And I think it's, it's Chris, they're obviously digging their, their wee foxholes again. And King's walking up the hill. And he, he sees the ambush, get out, didn't he? And he's like, oh, glad I'm not going with him. And you're like, oh, thanks for the words of encouragement there, King. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, has been given Elias's uh, responsibilities. He's in charge of the platoon. Ah. He's not happy about it at all. Nah. Um, but as you say, mate, King talks to uh, Chris and Anil comes up the hill and just says to him, you've lucked out, get your shit, get on that chopper, your, your, your number's up, you can go home. Gee! <laughs> <laughs> I know, man, man King. I'm, 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 happy, I'm happy that King made it out. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> but Mad O'Neill's like that. You got ten minutes to get on that chopper. Because if you're not on it, I'm gonna be. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> right. this is delighted for him, obviously. But Aye. he's sad that his friend leaving. I suppose. That's it. I can and... see what you think about it. The, the wee jolly crew is all gone. You know what I mean? Because like the Forest Whitaker character's gone. Uh, Johnny Depp's gone. King's leaving. Elias is dead. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, oh. <laughs> Aye, and Raz knew. Know the manager, he's, he's got too much responsibility <laughs> to hang about. Aye. So, King just says to him, Look, man, keep your pecking hard and your palate dry, and the worm will turn. It's <laughs> <Our> gravy. <laughs> Aye, because Chris is still writing home and all, isn't he? So, he's 
he's like gave up. He doesn't believe in the war effort anymore either. Know what I mean? Uh, he's broke. He's just been broken. As I, I just wrote there, Chris is now noticeably done in and downbeat. Um, it's, I suppose it's a, it's a huge part of this film to see how a man's went in there fucking full of, I believe, in the cause and Aye. just seeing him getting it ripped right out of him. Do you know what I mean? Yep. yep. Just but... that nobody really knows back home what the fuck's going on until they were in there. Aye. <laughs> then it cuts to Junior. And he's, I don't know what he's done to his feet. You know what I mean? But he's obviously, he's play acting, isn't he? Because he wants out of this battle. You know what I mean? He put bug, he put bug spray on it. Put, he sprayed his feet with bug spray. Now that way, when you were younger, I don't know if you've done it. You've done some crazy shit. See if you get an aerosol can, right? And you spray it long enough at your finger, uh-huh. you get frostbite. Because uh-huh. it's, it's like, well, I can't remember the word, but the word, but it is, it's frozen. It's, it's to keep the gas in the can or something like that. But if you spray it at your finger long enough, you end up getting fucking frostbite off it. So that's what he done to his feet, obviously. But Barnes being the wily old cat that he is, <sighs> he's seen this before, hasn't he? Hi. I guess he says as much to him, hasn't he? Hey, if I catch you, Spain, uh, spraying repellent on your feet again. You know what I mean? I'll put my boot up your ass, sort of thing. But just before that, he says to fucking Anil, he calls Junior's bluff and was like, Hey, O'Neill, remember that big black fucking red and hairy centipede? Bring it out to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put it in this guy's boot, see if he moves. <laughs> aye, but he's like, Oh, I have that, so it breaks uh, Junior's lie into it. And he's like, All right. I'll fucking walk. I'll walk. You just want every last bit of Junior and he starts... <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about. Mad Bunny, the, the psycho, not what I mean? He's like, I've got to have him in my hole with my Sarge. Come on, you fuck. Just love <laughs> faggot. You <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? But fucking... Okay, Anil pulls Barnes, didn't he? Aye. He goes, hey, Bob. What do you say there, Bob? <laughs> I've got a... And a real bad feeling. I mean, a real bad fucking feeling about this. I know, mate. Some bad gonna happen. He should start to shout it. Uh, he's trying he's try to cash in his, his brown nosing, didn't he? You know what I mean? He's like, uh, and he, 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 see John C. Riley? He's, he's actually, or John C. Riley, but he's like, <laughs> <laughs> John C. McGinley, uh, but he's like, uh, he's, you can see, see his acting. He's like, to try to not agree, you know what I mean? It was good, man. Because you can hear it in his voice, not that. It's excellent. Because yeah, he does say to Barnes, like, look, I've not asked you for one motherfucking thing. Just ask me for this, just for a few days, give me some r and R. I feel like fucking, God, I'm getting it done in, but uh, Barnes just says to him, says, everybody got to die sometime, right? <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, you're a man. <laughs> so you're in here, Bunny, just saying, you know what? I fucking kind of like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tells you, know, you what mate, to do. Do what he's you want. Just living his best life out in Vietnam, mate, because he gets to kill people. You know what I mean? He's like, what does it say? The only thing you got to worry about is dying. And when that happens, you won't know it. <laughs> like, Sorry, what? Mm-hmm. So good. <laughs> so Captain Harris is on the horn by this time. He's getting information in. If they take it a platoon, it's already out there. They're under attack. Uh-huh. And you can just hear bits coming through. And this is where you hear a wee guy going, they're in the trees. <laughs> the trees, <laughs> the trees, man. But I, as he's reporting back, and I'm like, oh, everybody's dead. The, the ambush hasn't worked. Back, yada yada yada. And the next thing, it gets cut off, doesn't he? And then that's you like, oh fuck, they're all dead. You know what I mean? And then this attack's coming. But see another bit, it was good because you can hear them all fighting in the jungle, right? And that lieutenant's like, oh fuck, oh what's going on? And he looks up. And Barnes is standing up there, and he just smiles like, "Hey, <laughs> know what I mean?" Oh, you fucking nutter. We're gonna. Aye. <laughs> but Captain Harris is still on this. Come in, son. Come back to me. Alpha three six. Alpha three six. And then it comes back on, and you just hear the Vietnam talking. Don't go again, ah. Why don't you? Bing gong ah. And then yep. cut off. So it starts to be cut. It's very quickly nightfall. And that's when the Viet Cong start mobilising. You see, for their point of view, for the first time, Aye. start to get their guns, their orders, and get dispatched and all that. Horrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice, isn't it? They start attacking this base, isn't it? 
in Madra, <laughs> he gets into the uh, Chris's uh, folks all night. He's like, ah, the fucking everywhere, man. The fucking everywhere. <sighs> what do you do? Stay in this fucking hole. Don't you fucking leave. You know what I mean? <sighs> so, the Viet Cong are sending up flares, the wee parachutes and all that to illuminate the jungle. See that? When it's quiet and the, the, the fire stops, but the light starts all shifting. Right. And you see the silhouette of the shadow. It's fucking haunting, man. <laughs> How bad shit is coming. But then that's when uh, Chris and that, they, they see this soldier coming towards them, don't they? And he's a soldier for the... See that? That would just spook the shit out of you. Because he gets to that hole and he's like, ah, everybody's dead. They're, they're fucking coming. They're right behind me. They're not stopping for anybody. Get out of here. And he just runs away. And we, as we yeah. Francis, he's like, ah, come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> as you say, Chris is when full circle now he's like, ah, Go if you want. Aye. I'm staying. Like, oh, Chris's a badass. He's a badass. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> so they get into a firefight. Um, a bullet just ricochets at the bunker and kind of blinds Chris a wee bit. Um, and then he gets back up. And then Aye. they hear them. They hear the enemy talking. And, but, and Chris obviously by this time can speak Vietnamese. <laughs> so, <laughs> Get out, get out. What I thought they were staying, they went, No, no, they're going to blow the fucking hole. Get out, get out. Aye. And they take the longest time to get out their own hole, man. Aye, I will. <laughs> it's taking you forever to get out of this hole, son. Aye. Oh, I so love the hole. Of the, <laughs> mission of the mission of the escape the hole and the hole Aye. explodes. But rather than keep descending down the hill. Chris and Francis have just went fucking mental and they just jumped back in the crater, aye, didn't they? Aye, that's it. Aye, Chris goes full bloodlust, didn't he? He's fucking hot. It's fucking beautiful. Aye, he starts getting mental, didn't he? And then he just starts charging at them, you know what I mean? Which I'm like, ah, right, that's, that kind of doesn't make sense because <laughs> like, there's, a, there's a massive army was coming up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the next, the next scene, good things happen. Aye. Bill. <laughs> Good things happen to bad people. Um, Junior and Bunny are obviously in a, a foxhole together. Junior shakes it and says, I'm out of here. Bunny's like, yeah, pussy candy ass mother. <laughs> but Junior, in the middle of the forest, runs into a tree. Aye. <laughs> no, knocks himself out, doesn't he? But then the next thing, uh, a Vietnamese soldier comes in doesn't he, and shoots Bunny. Indeed. You know what I mean? But see this next bit? I was like, because... Ah, you're just seeing like Junior's face into it, but for some reason he's doing the cross eye thing. Oh, oh! Mm. <laughs> that's what you think doing it. He's getting bayoneted. Yeah. Like, oh, that's up, getting aye. stabbed to death. Aye, that's that's a horrid man. But I never liked Junior. I never liked him. No. <laughs> they can have oh, him get their comeuppance. Tell him get their comeuppance. But this time you just see back at base camp one of the. Uh, Americans going that hill. What are you doing back here? You should butt that hill, thinking it's an American shoulder. Soldier? Soldier? I... <laughs> Thank you. Thinking Lead it's an American. <laughs> when you're on a star. I think it's one of his own, but it's not. It's the Viet Cong. They've advanced so far down the hill that they're on base camp. Do yeah. him in. And then kamikazes. I've got bomb vests on, haven't they, mate? I run into a, like a command bunker and just blow herself up. You know what I mean? But it's like the you see the captain, he's in like a wee tent away from you, isn't he? and he's looking at it going, Ah, I left my good teacup in there. <laughs> O'Neill's in his bunker he's on his own. Um and he's just about to be killed as well. Can hear the, the Viet Cong coming and he decides to pull the dead bodies and tap himself, didn't he? Which is very clever. Aye. And he, he fights to live another day. I nice. love to fight another day, even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting excited there. Oh, but that's when uh, the lieutenant he radios the captain, didn't he? He's like, We need to get out of here. And he's like, Where are you going to run, fall back to? They're everywhere. And then that's when you see the lieutenant eventually get shot and all, didn't he? And the wee medic, the wee medic gets killed and all. You know what I mean? You're like, Oh, the wee medic was all right, but. The lieutenant cops no. 
So Captain Harris, as you say, mate, he's realised that his base camp's overran. Um, they're just about to be all slaughtered, so he gives the order, doesn't he? He gets on the horn. He says, come in, son, come in. <laughs> I ordered the airstrike on my location. He says, what? repeat again, on your location? He went, yes, I'll take full responsibility. Drop said bombs on top of me. <laughs> and then again, he goes, oh, it's, it's a beautiful fucking war. And you're like, ah, what? How oh. fucking far removed from reality are you, man? I know. You probably think he's a veteran for World War II, I suppose. One of the old hats, you know what I mean? So he's ordered the name pump. The name pump. Stop. <laughs> he's ordered the napalming of his current location. Uh, um, Barnes is on his own and he's watching Chris, isn't he? Aye. Aye. Barnes is, he's went Viking mode. No, I mean, he's just killing people with a shovel now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aye. Aye. And he gets on top of Chris and he's just about to kill him. And Chris looks up, and you just see the silhouette of Barnes and the fucking the the, the red devilment in his eyes glowing, uh, can't you? Uh, he's just like a a, a demon, isn't he? It's uh, uh, just yeah. chaos. You know what I mean? And Chris is only saved by this airstrike, isn't he? Because it blows um, Barnes off him. It blows him. <laughs> so next thing you know. It's the aftermath. We're in daylight. We're in fucking Chernobyl. Everything's scorched. The earth, the trees is all scorched. And Chris is just waking up. Uh-huh. Um, and he's obviously very hot. He's black. He's covered in like, ash and stuff like that. And the first thing he sees is a fawn. A baby uh-huh. deer. <laughs> what? That's, I mean, I, How's that's... this thing survived? Aye, the night before, absolute chaos, you know what I mean? And now mm-hmm. it's like nature back to normal, you know what I mean? We you fall just state me all of these dead bodies. <laughs> so he stumbles over to like a lot of dead bodies and he takes an enemy's rifle off him, arms himself right away. Aye. In the blood background, you can see somebody crawling up a hill, like injured, but he's not interested. Aye. He knows what he's looking for, doesn't he? Aye, that's it. He's gone looking for Barnes, isn't it? But Barnes is, he's kind of crawling away and all, isn't he? And it's just, <laughs> see them do that arrogance of Barnes, but man, you're just like that. He rolls there and he goes, get me a medic. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, what? You don't see all these deep people? Chances are the medic didn't make it. <laughs> Aye. Next thing he says is, you hear me, boy? And then he fucking realises. He goes like, do it. And the good thing about this, there's no long pause. There's no right. five times he says, do it, go ahead, chicken shit, do it. He just says, do it once, then bang, Chris right. has done it. See, there's that, that's a bit thing. of emotion on his face, man. Aye, that's the thing as well. It's just, it's like weird because, see, then, Chris is practically a murderer. You know what I mean? No when he was killing all these Vietnamese and all that, but now he's like a murderer. But right. it's nuts. <laughs> but then it's like it's all these soldiers into this the the backup all up here on tanks and all this. But a yeah, so, tank with a Nazi flag on it. Aye, nuts, mate. <laughs> it's just nuts. So young Francis is uh, Chris's pal has had a smashing idea to stab his own leg because <laughs> he's not staying another night. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aye, and as uh, all the injured and I all start getting taken to a, a place to. Get taken away, isn't it? I and he'll get out his bunker and the new soldier's like, Hey man, you okay? He's like, It's a fucking faggot. I left me. <laughs> it's <just a> <laughs> I know. But um that's when you're obviously a dagel for strings is playing again, isn't it? And it's just you're seeing the battlefield the sort of thing, you know what I mean? There's dead bodies right. everywhere, piling up the dead bodies. Somehow managed to get fucking bulldozers up there now, and they're uh, shoving them into big pits, you know what Aye. I mean, for all the dead bodies and all that. Um, Chris is getting stretched away. I feel like now at the end of the film, that Adagio for strings, the score, score is playing man. Score. <laughs> Harris is still alive, Captain Harris. He looks somber as fuck because he's obviously given the order that's probably killed a lot of his own men there. Yep. It's probably saved the ones, it's saved all the ones that are still alive, obviously. But right. it's a horrible fucking thing he's had today. And he tells 
Red or O'Neill, as you call him, fucking put his back out there tonight, isn't he? He's got Barnsies. Get aye, aye, you've got you've got you've got the platoon lead, and he's like, ah, "Fuck's sake!" <laughs> Can I have three dead bodies <laughs> with me, please, to put over the top of me, just in case? Aye, the boys no. are waving at Chris, aren't they? Just aye. and that's all they're doing. They're just waving. There's just no emotion in their face. It's pure. Aye, they're all gone. Can not imagine? Me. It's a wee Francis and Robert. He's like, "Hey, we're two timers, mate." It's all for us. I'm going to see you when you get out. And we're going to get ha ha. We're going to get ha ha. He's loving it, man. Um, but Big Ra, he just fucking bangs his chest with his big staff and grills, isn't he? Aye. That's it as well. I can see, that's the other thing I know. See, like, the soldiers and that, they're all searching through bodies and all that. And that's when you see Ra. I think Ra searches a, a Vietnamese soldier. I think he pulls out see, like, a, a wee bag of heroin. Because ah. apparently that's what the Vietnamese soldiers used to use for a painkiller. Heroin. Mm-hmm. You're just like that. So, also used to use it. They used to drop it in on the Americans to get them all addicted to it as well. Even right. though they were finding it themselves, but they were fucking getting them all. Do you know what right. I mean? But Stephen uh, Ra does all that shit. <laughs> that's the sweet gay fucking fist pump. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> but that's it. It's, it's, it's back to Christy, uh, I Christy in the narration into it to his gran and all that. And but he's like talking like how the the war wasn't really a, a really a war. It was like a war between like for the the soul of people sort of thing. Like if you were going to be good or if you were going to be bad. You know what I mean? I mean, he's no wrong. He does. He says uh, we didn't fight them, grandma. We fought ourselves. Those of us who did make it have an obligation to rebuild society. You know what I mean, mm. back home, because yeah, it's right. just a different fucking war you're fighting. I suppose on this, but as it as the chopper's pulling away, and you just see the vast scope of what's happened and what's happening, and try to con- convince yourself again that it's a it's a it's a movie set. It's phenomenal. Aye, ah, it's tremendous, man. It's well done, and. It- and it's just oh, that it finally songs. breaks down, doesn't it? Aye, finally breaks down, mate. That's it. Aye, but like I say, it's like Elias represented the good, Barnes represented the bad. You know what I mean? And it was the war itself. It was like you can either be bad or you can be good, sort of thing. You know what I mean? I know that bit when Barnes says to him, I ever tell you a story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> <laughs> but it's another. Another viewpoint of good versus evil within a faction, you know what I mean? Whether it's Sith, Jedi, fucking platoon, whatever. Cowboys and Indians, fucking... It's but, mental. Uh, but what but, a film. Aye, that's, a, that's the end of it. Oh, it's a 10, mate. It's a 10 for me. A 10 for me. It's up there with the best of them that were reviewed since we started just over a year ago. Um, <laughs> and have you got a Glaswegianism for it at all? Troops. Troops. <laughs> Squad. 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 S Q A D Squad. S Q U A D Squad. But oh, I, excuse me. Ten out of ten. Definitely, man. Ten out of ten, indeed, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Um, what we've got coming up? I forgot to say at the start of this. This uh, pod was brought to you. Uh, in partnership with Tone Multimedia. Once again, thanks very much, Tim, for your sponsorship and your support, buddy. Uh, And for all your multimedia needs, folks, or if you need a photographer hired for any occasion, get on to Tim. The link's in my bio, obviously, as always, and we always include them in the the advertisements and the the aftermath and the postdoc stuff, so thanks again. Uh, You, too, can be a sponsor of this podcast uh, be a sponsor of one episode or one series or whatever you want to be just get in touch for the sake of a couple of pence um <laughs> help us pay our we're Jews as it were <laughs> um but next week my, well we're, we're gonna be doing a collaboration tomorrow night aren't we mate yes yes with the seismic cinema and doing hot fuzz sure to be a laugh <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> Going to be doing it with the, our two homeboys for Saving Cinema. Looking forward to it. Um, 
I'll need to try and get a nap at some point tomorrow before we do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> half, half nine at night, Jesus. I'm going to my mammy's for it. Oh. We can't be shouting through the walls when we end up trying to sleep, you know what I mean? Oh. Uh, so look forward to that. Next week, we are doing Moi's Choice. Yes. And we haven't done a Western, oh. have we? Don't think so. A lot of biggies there. Uh, I was thinking about like Tombstone and even Django, uh, but I'm going to go with Unforgiven 1992. Uh, Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, Gene Hackman, mm. a whole lot of bitches. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a smashing film, that it's a good film. So, yeah. Unforgiven next week. Hopefully, I'll try and get a wee cowboy hat in time for it. <laughs> oh, you got one anyway, haven't you? Oh, you get sombrero. Uh, oh, she's done fish full of dollars. We could have <laughs> the baddies. Hey man, how you doing, Gringo? <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, oh, poncho, unforgiven. Uh, unforgiven. Thanks everybody for liking, sharing, and all that jazz. We have taken a noticeable little dip in the past four or five podcasts, which is fine and dandy. We're still loving what we're doing. But, help a brother out. You know what I mean? Just send it to one pal. Check these guys out. That's all we ask. We date enough for other people, so please do it for us. Like for like. No, that's nice to be nice. And uh, hopefully we'll get us back up and running again uh, the way it should be. The way we believe it deserves to be. <laughs> Apart from that, mate, you have a smashing day. Yes, everybody. Cheers for listening. Bye. <laughs> I'll be the last one left when the lights go out. I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now. We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life. So cross my heart and hope to die, baby. I was born to f- fight the fear when I feel like dying. I'm trying to fly high, but I'm not a pilot. Can't deny it. There's some days I feel idiotic, just a product of a system where you're lucky just to make.